I guess it's been a while since I've unboxed an animal that's been all for myself. Or not even unboxed, I've never unboxed an animal for myself. But the time has come. Uh, do you know what this is? Oh, it says it's on the box. Well, okay, you don't know exactly what it is and you haven't seen it yet. So let's get started. Oh wait, I gotta Instagram it. Here, c come a little closer, you can't see. There, look at that nice angle you got. See, I was thinking about like how I'm gonna make this all momentous when I unbox it, but I don't know what to do other than just like cut the tape and show you. <laughs> I wonder if I put what this is in the title. I don't know. Some hints, uh, this is something I've never kept before. Uh... I'm so scared. Oh my God. Ah, it's moving. <laughs> it's not dead. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm scared of. I'm scared of everything right now. Hey, look at that. Do you know what this is? Maybe you do. Ooh, maybe you don't. This is an axolotl. It is a wild type, so no like fancy morph, which is how I kind of like it. Something I've never even seen an axolotl in person. Like the very first time I see it in person is it being shipped to my house. <laughs> so this was sent over by my friend Amber from Amber's Axolotls. You can follow her on Instagram. I have a link below to see plenty of axolotl pictures and all of her other herps. And maybe you're interested in an axolotl yourself so you can slide on over to those DMs and ask her. <laughs> and look at it. I've, uh, okay, um, what do I do now? First off right here, this is water from the new aquarium and I'm going to mix them with his old aquarium water so it's not a sudden change. This is not a tutorial. Just, it's just me trying to make it through this. Well, it looks like we did it. He's here, he's living, he's chilling out. Just gonna let him sit in here for a minute. But honestly, it's the pattern is a lot more detailed and there's more color than I really anticipated. Like, just look at it. I don't even need to talk about it. You can just see it yourself. But that's very exciting. So today I picked it up some Canadian night crawlers because he's not been fed in a little bit so that he did not poop all over himself and end up poisoned during shipping, I learned. This is such a new world for me. It's like, there's the reptiles, the amphibians, the fish and the invertebrates. So it's like the little exotic, oh, and the mammals, like the exotic pet family. But the axolotls, obviously they're amphibian, but they're like, they're, it's nothing like I've cut before, so. All the stuff I'm unboxing has been supplied to me by Aquarium Co-op for this project. So thank you very much for making that possible. Now, the focus of this video is more so the axolotl, so I plan on creating a different video so we can actually talk about and focus on the plants and the lighting and everything else that they sent over. But for now, let's go ahead and set everything up. Ooh, that smells good. What is this? Sorry, I just gotta interrupt, because that smells really nice. <laughs> so, there's kind of a lack of instructions. <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard. I have no idea how to, how to care for aquatic plants. You just stick them in the water? Maybe it says on here. Never mind, we're good.
like Olive is beautiful, but I can stand to look at her eye. Like, the geckos I actually think are kind of cute. But this is disgusting. <laughs> I mean, it seriously looks like it came from Avatar or something. I mean, it's got those weird things coming out of its head. Why is she walking like that? <laughs> look how she does her feet. Animals don't walk like that. Are you gonna name it? Name it Gross. Name it Gross. Name it Name it Name it Alien Gross. Emily, you wanna see something gross? I mean, it's not gross. It's interesting. 